G'day malt fans, uh, it's Simon from Select Scotch Whiskey here. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video to show off uh, from our latest shipment from Douglas Lang & Co. Uh, in their old particular range. It's a Glengoyne 14. Um, Glengoyne is a very popular distillery, no denying that, and there haven't been many independent bottling releases of Glengoyne, particularly since uh, Ian McLeod Distillers bought Glengoyne back in 2003. Um, for those who don't know much about Glengoyne, it's close to Glasgow, so it's um, often the first stop of the whiskey tourists, uh, so it's high demand really because of that. Um, but look, it's famous for having quite an ex accessible style. Uh, it's a really light style of malt, uh, really quite enjoyable though, to be honest. Um, nothing peated there, typically uh, refill hogsheads, sherry hogsheads. Um, but look, from what I understand, you know, they've got three very squat stills, uh, all with reflux bowls, and they use, well, they brag about using uh, Scotland's kind of slowest distillation process to really uh, make sure that the spirit spends as much time in contact with copper as possible, which really ensures you know, a lighter style of whiskey, uh, no vegetal or nutty characters, really chasing kind of fruity estuary notes. Um, but anyway, let's crack into this one and see what we think. Uh, I'm quite a fan of the old particular range, you know, particularly the fact they're all released about 48.4% alcohol, which uh, is quite a happy place for intensity and balance, generally, depending on the malt, of course. Um, but anyway, as I said, you can see on this one, it's quite a, a light style, light colour. Um, and knowing Glen Glen, I know it's going to be you know, light on the palate too. But on the nose, a touch of kind of malt, clean kind of barley malt. A bit of like caramelized sweetness there as well, which I imagine me from the oak. Initially on the palate, there's spice there. The middle of it's just that big malty sweetness, that real gristiness, earthiness. As I'm talking, the flavors are developing and touching on the nectarines and stone fruits uh, really coming through. Touch of even milk chocolate there. Um, and it, it's staying with me and, and the intensity is staying in the palate quite well. Um, so good, good, good length in there. A really enjoyable dram. Look, I'll put um, a link to the website down in the comments so anyone interested in that uh, you know, can look up a bit more. And um, as, as ever, feel free to send me any questions in email uh, or in the comments below. Thanks and see you again.